Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Do a real quick review because knife reviews don't take as long as Bible reviews. I don't get to rambling on too much. But what we have here is a white river. If you would see, if you go and look, uh, watch my unboxing video, uh, the first initial uh, impressions. Uh, this is uh, the White River Firecraft 3.5 Pro uh, CPM 3V. It's textured OD Green G10 with orange liner next to the uh, tank. We'll pull that out here so you can get a better look at it. As you can see, it comes in a great box, and the, you, you get to watch the box be opened and everything on the unboxing video. But here is what the blade looks like. That's probably skin cells where I uh, shaved my arm with it to test it. And Firecraft FC and a 3.5, three and a half inch blade. It's a special edition. Uh, has the number there 13 this is actually a DLT exclusive and these are razor sharp like I said it literally shaved my arm better than any knife I've ever seen ever um, so the overall length is 7.75 inches uh, again the blade length is 3.5 the thickness is 0.1 hundred and I ain't even gonna try to say that but anyway it's three millimeters thick Let's just say it that way. Uh, the blade still is, again, 3V. It's a spear point blade. Uh, again, the uh, blade finish is OD green. And G10 handle. And it's very grippy. It feels almost like sandpaper, but it's not too obtrusive. I originally started carrying it how it, how it was shipped. It was shipped at horizontal carry, but you find that the blade, the handle, can kind of get caught on things, and it's kind of a... A pain to get in and out of your vehicle and seat belt can get caught on it so I changed the uh, carry to a 45 degree angle and it shows you how to do all that and it was a little bit of a hassle because you gotta get that under there and then I almost forgot to put the uh, ferrule rod back on there um, yeah so you can carry it Carry it vertical, horizontal, or 45 degrees. Um, it is Kydex, obviously. It It's uh, sharpened, precision ground, and leather honed. And you can tell with the sharpness of the blade. I can't say enough about it, and I will do a follow-up. And when I do a follow-up, I will probably do the follow-up when I start using the ferrule rod obviously I'm not going to strike it in the house um, that's a good way to get in trouble with a wife that's a joke by the way because obviously I'm not that stupid because it's not the wife you'd have to worry about it's the uh, possibility of a fire but that thing does not go anywhere it's not there's no way it's coming out of there you can use this as a neck knife I've seen another guy on one of the knife sites I'm in got his in just today as well and he's already put a paracord uh neck uh neck i want to say necklace ain't really necklace it's a neck lanyard paracord lanyard for a neck uh carry and it would be a good neck carry but if it's it's so tight in there it's hard to pull out like that so you really got to get up on the blade and push with your thumb see you can hear it snapping out just absolutely slicey as heck and if you want to see the beat up video like the uh, destruction tests or whatever I suggest YouTube they have not the, this exact blade but they have the uh, 3.5 firecraft and you can see people beat up on their blades and baton them and and they hold up the guy was really impressed and you can also watch them start fires so if you want to do that uh, if you want to see it start a fire now, just go ahead and, and, yeah, obviously it only goes in there one way. I was trying to do it blindly there. But you hear it click back in. So it's, a, it's definitely a knife worth getting. To me, this, I sold my ranch, which was a five, I want to say a five and a quarter inch blade. 
it only was more practical for me to do so because this is a better EDC. You pulled this out to open in a box, and I don't know why I would open a box because I got a bench made folder for that. But this makes more sense to carry around when you need it. It's there. It could also work as a self defense knife because of the uh, the pinky groove, uh, finger groove, I guess would be the technical term. See, it's hard to push out like that, so you really have to choke up on the blade or on the handle, excuse me. Um, I have large hands. It is more comfortable, as people say, to hold it like this, but it has the uh, the finger choil right into the handle and the blade there, and then that the finger groove on the back like a karambit blade, or a karambit, a lot of people say it different, but um, again, this is just a great blade, guys. I highly recommend it. It's light. You hardly even notice it's there. It's probably one I'll carry forever, just because as long as I can just because uh, again it's more practical than like a ranch hinder five and a quarter ranches are definitely serve their purpose don't get me wrong I love my ranch it's a more expensive knife than this this ran 165 on DLT they are out at the moment um, they do not have any more on their website at the moment either um, and then again this is a DLT exclusive so that's the OD green with the orange I think that's pretty sharp um, no, you will, you will scuff up your screw heads trying to, cause that is a pretty wide, uh, bit right there that it would take. And yeah, I had to really put force on there to keep that down while it was turning the, uh, the screws here. And I don't remember right offhand what one I used. I wanted to say it was either a T10 or a T12. But if you have a Weeha bit driver with the uh, multiple bits you're you're in business again i think other companies should step up their game and start doing better pre presentation like this i mean this came in there and it's a perfect fit it, look it was easier to open that way but and it comes with the uh, authenticity card of authenticity and it tells you how you can uh reposition to get a 45 or vertical or horizontal carry but it comes horizontal at least mine did and if you want to read that you can pause the video there but i'll go ahead and read it i mean this is pretty short firecraft fc 3.5 pro blade length three and a half and it just tells you everything i've already told you except for the hardness i didn't tell you about that the hardness is 59 to 60 uh rockwell um limited edition uh, hope you enjoy your knife as much as we enjoyed making it someone's initials right there if you're not 100% satisfied with this knife, send it back for free repair or replacement. Always clean and oil your knife after use. Um, tells you their phone number, their website here, and that would be the email to email somebody. And I'm sorry, we have uh, dogs barking. I apologize about that, but hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. God bless.